Okay, so I was um, going through all my spreadsheets, getting them ready for 2021. And something I was quite interested in is I found out that the X-Line machines were machines with Altamower Connect installed. I'm actually trying to connect every 14 days, so it's quite important to check your battery level every now and then. So in this spreadsheet here, I've made a lot of tutorials about spreadsheets, so I'm not going to go through that bit now. I'll just say all these columns A, B, C and D, all this information is added automatically by your auto mower. This one here E is something I've done myself to basically translate these timestamps into something meaningful to me like the time in minutes. Um, what these spreadsheets are quite good for uh, leaving, this is the time it takes from the auto mower when it leaves the charging station to when it begins to mow. So I can see here it's taken 6 minutes before it starts to mow, 2 minutes, 0 minutes, 3 minutes, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 1 minute. Now this is a 315X with GPS navigation enabled. So these values are different start points which is programmed itself. Um, you would think that a 0 here, this has just reversed out the charging station, chosen random direction and begun mowing straight away. I did have another 315X which I had a problem with a guide, the connector to the charging station was corroded so there was no guide signal. So you'd expect all these values for leaving to be zero. But my little 315X managed to outsmart me because it reprogrammed itself instead of following the guide it started following the boundary wires which was very very impressive so I was still getting times of three, four, five minutes even though the guide was broken. But it's these values going home which are quite good to give you information about your guide status. With all these times here, the going home, I can see it's finding the guide pretty quickly. And these three minutes are from the time it shuts down the blades and begins to search for the charging station till it's actually docked and receiving charge. So it's a quite a clever little spreadsheet and I can see by the mowing times this gives me an indication of the battery status so everything looks pretty good here so I was about to delete all this information ready for next year and I came down to I see here October the 15th is when I stopped it for the season and nine minutes past three October the 15th I turned it off for the winter but now I see 14 days intervals it's sending a message that it can't connect so I was worried about this maybe using the battery up but if I check these values for 14 days these are the values in minutes which is um, equated out from the timestamp here from the mower so I take here this will be the hours and this will be the number of days so the hours is going to equal the number of minutes divided by 60. And then the number of days is going to equal the number of hours divided by 24. So 14 days interval from when it was um, turned off for the winter to when there's a message that it wasn't connected and it will try to reconnect. So just copy this formula down to here and copy this formula down to here and we can see every 14 days this is happening and here we have today I turned it on today 3rd of January this is the message stopped uh, I just wanted to check the battery level and it's okay it's at 19 volts and I haven't done a service on my mower yet so I'm not going to recharge it but if I had already done the service on it I would consider giving it a little top up charge. If the batteries get too low then the charging station won't be able to charge them up again, you'll have to take it into a dealer to sort them out. In the worst case scenario you'll end up having to buy a new battery which is an unnecessary expenditure. So watch the film about how to check your battery level on your auto mower and make sure you give it a little charge if you need to during the winter. 
Just going to talk really quickly about checking the charge level of your batteries on your Husqvarna water mower through the winter. Now the manual tells you to charge the batteries fully and turn it off with the main switch and that should be enough. And it normally is. But it is smart to check the battery level. So this is easy enough. Just hold in the zero cap button. And then we choose info and battery. Now, this is a 430X. It only has the one battery in this model here. So we go over to battery one. And what we're interested mostly here is the voltage. If this level drops below 19 volts, I'd recommend you to give it a little top up charging through the winter. The next level here is charge cycles. This is battery here is being charged 818 times. Uh, the next level here, charge level, is the current level, 4,155 of 4,160. Here's the battery temperature, we're in the workshop now. And current, we're actually using current now to power the display and the backlighting. There's a lot of talk about not charging the batteries to 100% for lithium batteries. But if we check this capacity here, 4160 this is actually 80 percent of what the battery's real capacity is so your husqvarna automower cannot charge the battery over 80 percent and if i just check the spec sheet of it quickly we have 5.2 amp hours for the 430x which we're looking at now so just a basic bit of mathematics here go to the calculator 5,200 times 80% is 4,160, which is the level we have just here. This is 80%. So just charge the batteries fully, and when you do that, you charge them to 80% of its real capacity.